Alright, you want the keys of the truck? No? You good? How long are you gonna be in here? I'm just, I gotta get out of the no wake zone real fast and then I'll, uh, yeah, maybe I'll be right back then. Put the, uh, the pole away as well. Or actually, yeah, put the pole away. I don't think we'll use it in uh, putting the boat on. Uh, we probably will. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's explain really quick what I'm doing. I just dropped Christian off. Fishing day was eh, so-so. But what we got going on right now, some of y'all have expressed in the comments that, hey, how fast does the thing go whenever you're out there by yourself? So this is going to be my first time actually running by myself. Really quick. I've already noticed with Christian jumping out of the skiff, he's a, a counterweight, which right there, it's going to hold the bow down. And now the deck of the boat back here is probably about three to four inches off the water. And I know that once I gun it, I'm prob the bow is probably going to come up. So this is without an ex a, a, a tiller extension so that I can move my weight forward. To kind of shift also this is a 9.9 .9 outboard uh, some of y'all had mentioned that the 15 horsepower it weighs the same exact thing as this one right here so i would opt for like maybe the 15 if weight was not going to be an issue i didn't know that about tahatsu i've not even really looked into them but we're gonna see once we get out of the no wake zone just how fast she can go and if it's gonna feel safe enough for me to do that without the grab bar and the tiller extension. All right, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. And immediately the bow does go up, which is to be expected, but once we get on plane, the motor will kind of come up out of the, uh, the bottom down there. Six miles an hour and we're pushing literally no wake past this last house up and then we're gonna open her up okay five miles an hour here we go we're gonna open her up she's full throttle and having trouble getting on plane right now um Okay, let's put this away until we can get on plane, but I'm gonna lean forward and see if we can achieve getting on plane now. Okay, we're almost there. Come on, girl. Yes, a tiller extension will get us on plane. And we are scooting now. So, let's see. Doing some sea trials. Let's throw everything up forward. Everything that's got some significant weight to it. Which is really next to nothing. With no weight up there. I mean, I got my camera case and the majority of my gear. There's quite a bit of stuff inside the ice chest to try and use it as counterweight. Maybe the fuel tank under the bow. One of y'all made a comment that the fuel tank, if you, you would need to remove that and put it inside the bow. A trolling motor, if you were coming out on your lonesome, that's gonna add, for me, it would be the trolling motor weighs 30 pounds and then my battery is seven pounds. That'll be 37 extra up there because that's where I would put the battery at. And we could you know, have a little bit more weight to keep the bow down. So, I mean, that would be cool. We'll let his wake get by us and then, all right, 17 miles an hour is what we got. Let's see if we can get a little bit better. There we go. She got on plane now. The bow just lowered down and we're really going. Eighteen. She's really not throwing any weight as well. That's very impressive. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's very impressive. Not throwing any wake. Um, let's put that away. Yeah, I just thought I'd share my like fast speed for one person. I'm pretty sure we can get a little bit faster. We just need some more weight up there. I got my fastest speed was 18 miles an hour. All right, y'all, we're gonna do round two. The rain is already starting to get me, but I uh, trimmed the motor all the way down as far as it can go. And we're gonna see what, what that will do for us. Um, I'm hoping that she's gonna be able to perform that she just wasn't trimmed properly. Let's see, it's starting to rain, so. Let's lower her down too. Hopefully it's just a passerby cloud. Oh wow, this is like a grab handle right here. Heck yeah. All right, so here we go. I don't know if I actually lowered her all the way down. Oh, there we go. Now we're all the way lowered. curious how fast we're going though. Alright, so 14 miles an hour. We're still on plane and I'm going to open her up full throttle again. Oh shoot. 19 miles an hour. And we're full throttle. We achieved 20 miles an hour. Slow down again. Um, she's completely trimmed out. So lower her all the way down right there. That's the fully lowered position with the jack plate and completely trimmed. 
All right. Here we go. Let me get a good grip. All righty. She's on plane, 14 miles an hour, 17, 18, 19. throttle now 20 miles an hour all right we're gonna slow down and I'm gonna raise the jack plate up so we're gonna raise her up approximately two inches and see let's see that's two finger lengths just about See if that does anything. Here we go. Just gotta get her on plane. There she goes. She's on plane now. an hour we're full throttle 21 miles an hour go all the way back down and just take her in um, yeah I don't know what needs to be done in order to keep it from doing that aside of adding some weight up there getting the tiller extension throwing me over here but uh, I kind of put it through the trials. We can't trim it down no more, so I guess we're just stuck with that right there. I think it's just a matter of weight distribution, throwing everything forward. Okay, this is the fully bottom position with the jack plate. It's all the way down. I know when it's all the way down that the cavitation plate above the prop is right in line with the keel, so you can't go any further. Let's uh, put our weight all the way forward, and let's get going. Just got on plane. It. We're done testing for the day. Here we go. I have a firm belief that we throw some weight up in the, the bow. Throw the trolling motor, the battery. Once we get all that weight up there, no doubt in my mind, she's going to perform exceptionally well no doubt 21 miles an hour but so 20 miles an hour with the jack plate all the way down 21 with about two finger lengths up um, but it felt more control with the jack plate all the way down do you think maybe if you uh, had the grab bar and the tiller extension 
Yeah, I could push my weight forward. By doing that with a little bit of weight distribution, I honestly see this thing being able to achieve possibly faster speeds whenever I get it tuned just perfectly. As far as the jack plate going up, down, uh, I'm not too sure. But I know when I add the trolling motor, so that when I go out there by myself, I don't want to be push-pulling and then trying to cast and put the push pull away. So the trolling motor is gonna be a definite must. In doing so, I'm gonna be able to like well, or balance it out really well to where it can perform the way I want her to. And uh, it's just amazing, 9.9 .9 horses, 21 miles an hour, pretty fast for a skiff that size. And uh, I'm really looking forward to testing her out some more. If there's anything that y'all can think of that you would like me to test out, as long as it's reasonable, I don't want to go out there and die, um, drop those comments down below. Let me know. And uh, we'll get this 184-pound skiff. Uh, we'll put her through the paces for sure. And it's all in the name of scientific research and then also inquiring minds want to know what else she can do. But uh, I also want to know as well. And at the end of the testing period, let's just see. Um, let, let's see how she does. I'm very impressed with her being able to pull straight. I am super impressed with the speed. Just got to balance her. And I think, uh, well, Let's not make any calls just quite yet. I'm giving her still the thumbs up. I'm starting to smile a lot more with each passing day that we get her on the water. And uh, yeah, let's leave it at that. I'll see y'all next time when we're off the water.